Saming is so bad that will make great content. So today we're gonna use Saming on its landform into Cat's Cap, and it's always a challenge to take a mediocre Pokemon like Saming and use it in a special cap like this Cat's Cap, which we're gonna have a lot of random things coming up. Also, I happen to have a hidden power grass, which is the best hidden power that you can get for Saming, especially on the landform because it's gonna be a single grass type and obviously stop damage helps a lot. Uh, right now I'm just gonna go in with my Donphan which I happen to have Mud Slap only because of all those uh, Stunfisks and uh, Drapions and Skatanks that exist in the meta and of course we can deal super effective damage back at them while we can easily farm down uh, those Pokemon. Now they return with the extra drill which means that whatever there is at the back will be in deep trouble up against my Donphan. Right here we can take the first shield and I will pressure now for the new against the pile of swine are they gonna expect it yes they are but still saming can go in pretty clutch with a grass knot and if you're thinking Ganetto are we gonna see any of those shield flares um, nooks yes you're gonna see okay so stay tuned till the end for that uh, right now we're having the Steelix into the next one on its shadow form, a pretty thick Pokemon to be honest and Psychic Fangs will be a pretty, pretty big deal against my team. Uh, so right now we're gonna switch out into our safe switch, the Galarian Slowking and this Pokemon is gonna be one of the best ones that you can use for the meta. A lot of trainers are gonna have it and it's kinda safe having uh, all over uh, the best moveset for the safe switch spot for the Cat's Cup alongside all the other Pokemon that you have this season. Uh, so able to farm down here pretty easily with those double super effective hidden powers and now we can easily tank here a Psychic Fangs. I say easily because we can survive uh, but still with 1 HP at the back they have the slow bro so unfortunately we're gonna fall down to those water guns but right here the seed flare is imminent and it is gonna knock out the slow bro but still not enough to do any more work up against that Steelix and down we go while we both head to Shields Alive and well for the flex. I don't know what we were both expecting but yeah two seals from both ends and that's gonna be a magnificent ending to that battle. Into that next one now and we're having the Stunfisk on its Galarian form up on the lead. So I will try to charge up as much as possible, tank two of those rock slides and then switch out to my Slow King. Doing that we can definitely pressure for some seals and all we have to do here is to predict that earthquake however we cannot which is a bummer and now we're met up with a Tapu Fini on the switch. Are they gonna expect though the double shadow ball? Only one way to learn because one has already connected and one more is imminent. So will this Tapu Fini go down before unleashing any move? Yes they are, down they go, crucial battle here, Obstagoon goes in and to be honest I do not like Obstagoon at all, we do not have a clear answer to that and because I'm running Mud Slap over counter to my Dawn fan for all those poison types that exist right now in uh, the wild or something like a Galarian Stunfisk or the Unova Stunfisk that the opponent might have, uh, well counter could have been the better answer over here. Able to reach now to the Seed Flare to debuff the enemy and of course the Nook, however they want to seal and yeah the battle is already over. So you're gonna see a lot of those battles uh, towards the entire video, uh, we're having some clutch battles as well but this team is super spicy and and it's super fun, so why not use it? Uh, we're having now into the next one a very bad lead up against the Perseker. Let's see how we can uh, overcome this obstacle because as it seems, uh, Perseker is gonna provide a lot of pressure with those Shadow Claws and the Foul Plays. On the Switch, we're met up with a Frost Breath version of Lapras. Uh, that was weird to be honest, but still uh, it is gonna apply so much pressure on my Pokemon So we have to take here the surf. We know we can survive with a little bit of HP left and now Shadow Ball will connect for big damage on the Lapras Same in goes in and at this point we can easily farm down Immediately smashing my way out to the Donphan because I expect the Perseker to return But at this point I have to block if I want to completely farm down Now they have at the back a poison type the slow bro which means that we might be on a good fortune in order to completely farm down yes we can same in goes in before they reach to the close combat are you kidding me crazy battles here and we can farm down with those not very effective hidden powers 
into that next turn now with a hit much and upon the lead. Oh boy, I remember this one. So far, punch is gonna be caught on my slow king. Pretty good play from my part, I believe. But they also did an amazing catch on the lantern for that serve. Are you kidding me? So at this point, all we have to do is to go for that uh, shadow ball. However, if they get here to the thunderbolt, it might be over. Hopefully, they went just for the serve. So we have to reach now to the shadow ball. And at this point, I'm pretty sure we can farm down with our shaming. Shaming with energy can be deadly, especially with a seed flare flex. And at this point, we're gonna take whatever they throw because we resist anything that uh, this lantern is gonna have. At the back, they have a rapid dash with that amazing incinerate, and now my Donphan will go in. At this point, I have changed my uh, fast attack, but uh, it will make no sense at all because uh, you saw before that we needed that counter for that obstacle. Now that we have counter, we need mud slab. So, right after this, I believe I'm gonna switch it up again. Uh, so, yeah, things like that happen all the time. Uh, it's a go bad luck and go bad RNG, anyways, and we're gonna fall down. And pretty close battle to that last incinerate from the Rapidas. Uh, into the next one now against a slow bro with water gun look at that pokemon it is barely even moving over here and surf now can easily be taken that was too early to be anything else and grass knot from our shaman is gonna connect for big damage on that slow bro at the back they have the del fox which means that our pokemon has to get out of there as soon as possible because they stayed into the battle and perhaps they have another pokemon weak to our shaman at the back <laughs> It is gonna be a second water gunner this time the lapras what is happening over here i'm pretty sure we can survive one serve while i will try to get to the shadow ball and we can do that successfully can we grab a shield here no we cannot but still lapras can withstand the damage same now goes in and hopefully here we can farm down right on time however as it seems they are gonna throw down we go to that surf but don fan now is gonna have the upper hand with those mud slaps and finally we get the correct move against the correct Pokemon. Imagine having here a counter that would be kind of bad for us and eventually we could lose uh, especially with that seal disadvantage into the final one trainers and we're having lantern up on the lead so Seimin is gonna have obviously a very good battle against that Pokemon and all that remains to be unfolded here is to see what we got at the back because we are gonna go for the early grass node they are gonna block and obviously we can do a lot of solid work up against them especially after they blocked here because we can uh, basically take whatever they throw i'm just gonna shield over here though because on the one shield scenario we can easily farm down right after and get out of here with a seed flare gonna keep it for the end game as it seems they want to stay in with that medicham and who plays medicham on the catch cap did you got it right now wow that's crazy uh, so whatever they throw here even a psychic can be taken uh, so i'm just gonna do that and then complete my farm down let's see what lies at the back it is gonna be the stunfisk so at this point we got the back to back serves most probably we're gonna take the shield out of the way one more to pressure even more here but uh, to be honest i think that the seed flare might just be it for the fisk able to reach it now for the end game will this knockout trainers it barely cannot knock out but the last match lap will from the dawn fan so we're looking at a pretty solid victory to end this amazing video featuring shaming and shadow dawn fan and that is gonna be all for today trainers thank you for watching and for staying till the end just be sure to leave a huge like before you go subscribe to the channel if you already haven't and i hope to see you all into the next one